what is up there guys? Dr. Phil Hot and today is episode 30 of NHL 14 Be a GM with the Ottawa Senators. So last episode what we did is we played round two of the playoffs in the NHL and we lost we lost within six games. So it sucks, but we ran it into a hot team that had really good players. And I'm not saying Ottawa has good players. I'm just saying for some reason we could not get by them. We played well in our first, well, not the, well, not the first two games. We played well in the, our second and third game, but after we just let go for some reason. And due to injuries, it's sort of balanced between the both of them also. So, you know, whatever. It sucks for Ottawa, but we made the second round. So, whatever. It's just that gives us the draft position to trade for a good player next year that's what i'm thinking that's what i'm thinking right now so at this well this episode and also i forgot that this it like you can maybe this you can maybe include like uh this episode as a playoff marathon because we're going to continue our ahl playoff because our ahl team is doing pretty good in the playoffs so that's what i want to include since Ottawa is done for the playoffs, and I want to get this, I wanted to get this GM mode done for the Ottawa Senators. I wanted to get it done soon enough, like I said before March. So, like I said, we're gonna do the playoff marathon, and we're gonna continue it with our Bigminton Senators. Before that, what I'm gonna do is, I am going to do, 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 do I am going to show you the lines. So here are the Bigminton Senators line. All I did, I you know, just did best lines because I trust my assistant coach. Uh, defense, yada, yada, la, 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 you know, you get the points on who's on what, and then we got Backman and Net. So, yeah, so I'm going to keep injuries on, and we'll just skim through the third round, and if we're not done in the third round, then we'll pretty much, then we'll, uh, I don't know what we're going to do, we're probably going to go do a, a humongous season wrap, but before now, we'll just skim through the third round, so let's just go... The first game, let's just hope Bigminton can do it. Oh my god, no. Not 2 nothing. Come on, guys. Come on, next game. Come on there, guys. Come on there, guys. Oh, are you kidding me? No way. Man. You guys suck. I'm sorry, but like... Ooh, Corey Conacher. No, no, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter anymore. Really? No, Shane Prince. Oh, there, guys. When I said you guys suck, you guys are... Something's bad with you guys. And right now, one of our snipers is out. And I don't know what to do. Like, we've lost three games in a row. Maybe it's a good team. Also, I forgot to check their lines again for some reason. I always do forget to check their lines. I don't know why, but for some reason, I always do. So we're just going to go view lines. What's the... Something... Uh, fuck. What, what is their name, anyways? Uh, do, 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 do. Where is it? Uh, Albini Devils. Okay. I'm sorry. I just wanted to, just to make sure. Uh, Albini. There you go. That's why. That's why. There goes that first line. That's why. You got Christensen, and then you got Johansson and Matu. That's why. They got that deadly first line, and then other than that, it's okay their team. You got Reed Boucher on that second line. But other than that, it's okay. Uh, Defensive-wise, really good. And then you got goalie-wise, eh, not that bad. Eh, that's actually pretty bad. Yeah, we should be... You know what? We should be better than them for some reason. For defensive-wise and goaltending-wise. But I don't know what's wrong with our players. So... I don't know. We're going to have to check out what's up. Uh, we're just going to go... We're going to do this right now. And then we're just going to keep stuff like that. And if something decides to come up, then whatever. You know what we'll do? We'll sim this game right now. We'll sim it. And then we'll see what happens. Because we might be eliminated this game. So let's do this, guys. First, oh, there we go. Stud of a defense. There we go, O'Brien. Come on. There we go. There we go. Wow. I didn't even say first period. And we scored two goals. That's good. Let's keep it together, guys. Keep it together. Second period. There we go. Okay, Aaron Eckblad. Oh, God. And then you obviously have Reed Boucher. 
but we're still good. Come on, guys. Keep it together. Keep it together. Keep it. Oh, my God. No, no, no. Guys, guys, don't play. Don't be the Senators. Don't be the Ottawa Senators. Come on. No, okay, there we go. Nielsen was like, you know what? I'm going to make this game. I'm going to put it through, and we're going to win it. There we go. Okay, good, good, guys. Good, good, good. Okay, so we were saved that game. Aaron Ekblad, Henrik Tomernes, and they got Zach Raymond Redmond. Okay. But Ekblad is probably going to be ready, ready by next year, so I'm going to have to do something with my defense. Uh, like, I don't know, maybe get rid of Griba. That's uh, maybe a thought. Maybe get rid of Summers. That's another thought, maybe. But, I don't know. It's just speculation. Ooh, yes, Shane Prince is back. Nice. Like I'm just saying, it's speculations. A lot of speculation going on right now. Because this is maybe our last year, maybe our before last year, before all was done. So, we're just going to, we're going to have to wait and see. But let's just do this game. I'm going to sim it, quick sim through it right now. Uh, we're just going to really quick sim, in, quick sim through it. Uh, we're just going to go Simperia. There we go. Douglas, I think it's, no, it's Derek Grant. There we go. Second period. Nah, 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 nah. Guys, 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 come on. Come on, guys. Anyone, please, please. Someone, Zach Hall, come on. Oh, no, 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 no. Guys, guys, guys. Anyone, 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 please, 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 please. Anyone, 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 anyone. no, 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 no. That's it. That's all. Ah, oh, Bigminton. You pulled off in Ottawa Senators. But Richard Backman still got the first star of the game. Ooh, they still they have Damon uh, Severson also. So, huh. They got some good players also. Oh, that's it. That's it for the Bigminton Senators. They pulled off in Ottawa Senators for some reason. I don't know why, but for some reason. We lost it. We lost it. Oh, man, man, oh, man, oh, man, oh, man. Let's just go check who wins the Stanley Cup. Let's, we might go check some of the awards and just make some speculations because we still have time to, you know, I still, it's only seven seven minutes in the video. So we're just going to go check what happens. But whatever. Big Minson still played good. They got farther than this, the freaking Ottawa Senators. So that's good to say. But we still haven't won any... Uh, we still haven't won the Stanley Cup yet. We're still wanting to win our first Stanley Cup, but for some reason, Ottawa can do amazing in the playoffs. I mean, amazing in the regular season, and then for some reason, in the playoffs, they'll just, they'll, they won't do anything. Like, they'll just, well, they won't play bad, they just won't do as good. Okay, so let's see who wins, and you got my friend spamming me for some reason. I don't know why, but he's spamming me. Okay, let's see who wins it. Let's see who wins it. And I'm pretty sure 10 comes before 16. But, you know, that could be my math also. Okay, let's go. Let's see who wins the Stanley Cup. That was my phone. Ooh, the Phoenix Coyotes. They won the Stanley Cup. And you got Albini. Oh, okay. So, uh, it it doesn't, doesn't... It's not that bad that Albini won. It doesn't, like... it does. It's not bad because... We we lost against against them, so it doesn't doesn't make us look that bad. And they got Phoenix Coyotes out. It's like last year Florida won the cup, and now this year Phoenix win, wins the cup. Like what's next? Like what's next? Columbus winning the cup? Like I'm not saying they're bad, but like just the odd team you think that's not gonna win the Stanley Cup. Like that's the team that wins the Stanley Cup in this game. The team that you think that's not going to win the Stanley Cup in real life, it wins in this game for some reason. But whatever, so... Uh, let's just go, let's sim up all the way through, right before the prospect game. And then we'll stop it there, we'll do a humongous season wrap up, go look at the trophies, go look at the scouting, go look at the progress report, see if players boost it up. And then we'll just talk about speculations going into the draft. And uh, we have some kind of room. Yeah, we'll just look at, uh, just talk about speculation. So, let's just go look at our boosts. Let's see who boosted up before we'll just do this right here. And then we'll go see if player boosted up or went down. Let's go like this. 
Eric Carlson, he's done his prime. Uh, Jason Spezza, okay, I think. Yeah, he boosted up one. Uh, Jonathan Huberto, I, he, he went down one, I think. I think had say the same. Kucherov went down one. Uh, Silverbird went up one. The bandage ad stayed the same, stayed the same, stayed the same. Stayed the same, stayed the same. Most of these guys, Zach Smith went down. Just, mo most of these guys stayed the same. Uh, hoping was Aaron Eckblad. Ah, Aaron Eckblad, come on, man. Go up. For some reason, Aaron Eckblad went to Red Stars. That's, that, that makes no sense whatsoever. He was a stud last season. And now he goes at the Red Stars? Like, come on, man. That, that makes no sense whatsoever. Oh, man. I, I don't understand these. Which I really do not understand. Uh, whatever, that's esports is shit, but I I don't see the logic in this. They really gotta fix their system. Okay, so whatever the these players can still go up during the season. Also, goalies. Okay, Leonard went down one, and you got Bobkoff. That uh, ooh, uh, Van Gilder went up a lot. That's good. That's really good. That's a good sign of next year. That's a really good sign. Okay. But like I said, these players can still go up, boost up during the draft, during the free agency, during the signing stage. So that's just, it's just, right now it's just an early boost. Then they'll boost up during the signing stage and they'll boost up during the free agency. But now let's just go look at our, uh, what is it, uh, awards, there we go, awards. Uh, Phoenix Coyotes win the Stanley Cup, President's Trophy, oh my god, really? I just that's terrible. That is terrible. Uh Clarinets Campbell, the Phoenix Coyotes, Prince of Wales, Columbus. Oh, Art Ross was won by Jason Spezza's Jason Spezza, that's good. Uh Hart Memorial, Jason Spezza again. Uh Drew Dowdy won the James Norris. Our, uh, the Nuge won the Lady Bing. Uh Oliver Bajorkstrad, I'm sorry if I don't say his name right. Won the Calder. Uh, Mike Smith won the Con Smythe. Uh, Jonathan Quick won the Vesna. Oscar Dansk won the William. William M. Jennings. Uh, Jared Spurgeon won the Bill Masterson. Jonathan Taze won the Frank. Ooh, what? Oh, Jonathan T Yeah, okay. Well, he went to Freedom I forgot about that. Uh, won the Frank J. Uh, J. Selk. And Jason Spezza won the Ted Lindsay Award. Taylor Hall won the Ramonis Richard Trophy. And then, okay. So Jason Spezza won three trophies. That's, that's good for him. Surprise, Huberto didn't win any trophies this year, but, you know, whatever. So now let's just go look at the AHL. Let's go look at it really quick. Albany, Rochester, Iowa, Rochester again, Texas, uh, Portland. Binghamton won the award of the team finishes with the best regular season record in these. Okay, so that's good. Uh, Albany, okay, Albany again, Hamilton. Uh... Doesn't matter, doesn't matter. I'm just looking for... Wow, look at this guy. Look at this guy. Three trophies, man. No, four trophies. Wow. Torsten Christensen. That's that's a good player. That's a good good player to look out for. Then we got Tory Krug. Stud of a defense. Uh, that's good for him. Richard Backman. Stud of a goaltender. Uh, yep. Yeah. No, 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 no. Okay, so... Whatever, that's good for us. Uh, we got two trophies, Richard Backman, and we got a uh, Tory Krug. So that's uh, boost their confidence up. And then we'll go look at the playoff trees really quick, see who's who and what did what. So here you go. Uh, Phoenix won in four games. So nah, they went within five games. So not that bad. So Eastern Conference looked like this. And then you got the Western Conference that looked like this. Go look at the HL playoff tree. Yep, there you go. And then there you go for. Okay, so now let's go. Just let's do some uh, speculations. Uh, see who's up for the scouting assignment. Uh, scouting assignment. Where are you? Let's go scouting central. So maybe I'm looking for a forward this year. Uh, was it center, left wing? Curtis, yeah, so top five, these top three players, 
Let's just go see what they're all about. Okay, so this guy looks like he's going to be... Uh, okay, not accurate, but some of the stuff are accurate. Look at that puck control, 91. If this guy is sort of correct in his stats right now, this Nicholas Stoner guy could possibly maybe... I don't know, possibly maybe be in the early 70s to late 70s. But if you look at it right now, shooting category isn't accurate for shit. Puck skills, some a little bit accurate, but his defense looks like it's fairly accurate. So two-star defense, it eh, doesn't look like really good. But if it's if this looks like what it is right now, then he should be probably in the early 70s. Probably four and a half stars. But I don't know. Okay, so maybe and eh, Nicholas Stone would be first overall as we projected as would be. What about this Sergey Dzenenov, Dzenenov guy? Uh, same thing with him. If it's accurate, then probably late 60s, early 70s. And uh, doesn't look doesn't look too too bad. Okay, then we got Curtis Smith. This looks like it's. Accurate discipline. Okay, so most of the stuff is fairly accurate. Skating wise, awesome. Physical wise, not that good. Defensive wise, eh, it's okay. Puck skills wise, looks like it's pretty good. Senses, pretty good. Then you got shooting wise, isn't that good? It's okay. But looks like this guy is going to be the higher overall, but his stars are going to be a little bit lower. He's probably going to be like this, like a good forward that's going to like be good in all five categories except physical wise that's what it is like when you have a stud player he's good in the other five categories he's good in five categories and the one that he's not good is usually physical I'm not saying everyone's like that but I'm just saying most of them most of them when you draft them they're good in like skating shooting puck skill sense and defense and then physical they're like one star two well not one star but like three stars so there you go for that guy Maybe Curtis Smith would be a guy to get. Uh, let's just go see if we can find out. What about this uh, Maxiv? Okay, nothing special. Nothing special. Maybe a goalie we could snag. Uh, Martin Richardson. I'm not thinking. Yeah, okay. I'm not thinking getting goalie because we got one last time. What about this Francis Reitz? Same thing with defense. I'm not thinking because, you know, we have Aaron Blau. We have those two other guys, Tori Krug. And that the other one too. So I want to get a forward this year. Maybe one that probably that's already good. That's already like you know that could be ready. Maybe here that could be ready right away. But other than that, it looks doesn't look that great this year. But we'll see at the draft. We're just gonna have to take our chances. And for speculations, no one that I really want to trade. Maybe Tyler Kennedy. But other than that, no one that I really want to trade. So, like, we feel a look at it right now. Yeah, yeah. Nah, maybe, maybe we could trade Spezza. Yeah, but I want him to retire. I want him to retire on the team. And he's still... I know. Okay, so how much do we have? 36 mil. And who do we have to resign? Uh, oh, Enforcer. Rennie B. Realm. Okay, I don't... Get, da, 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 da. Where's everyone? Okay, Tyler Kennedy, we're going to get rid of this year. Not going to want a lot, not a lot. Nah, maybe Zach Smith's going to want a lot. Chris Summers, that's a guy we're going to think to remove. Because we have Anik Blood, that's probably going to be better this year. Kyle Terry's going to want a lot. Corey Conacher also, not a lot, not a lot, not a lot. Jacob Silverberg, same thing. And a lot. Uh, maybe Nikita Nikita Filatov also. Okay, so Jared Cowan, same thing. Okay, so no one really big, big, big. But... What about goalies? Goalies wise, it should be it should be good, I think. Ooh, Leonard. Ooh, ooh, Leonard's gonna need to resign. Ah, but we still we have the cap space for it. But whatever. So, up, Joe guys, and remember to subscribe. And uh, who do you who should I draft? If I go look at the scouting central, like I said, for these three guys or four guys, but who should I draft? Early predictions right now, maybe. Curtis Smith is our best, but just give me some recommendations. So I'll see you next time. So, bye bye.